It's moments leaving a family shaken but grateful. They nearly lost it all, including their lives, when a truck barreled into their home over the weekend. This video showing the aftermath. The damage overwhelming the family inside when the fiery crash happened. Trey Harris reports with what how they're recovering. Trey? Yes, it was shaping up to be a regular Saturday afternoon for Shanika Cannon and her kids. But that quickly changed as she acted fast to get out of the way of a truck that crashed right into her home. Material things can be replaced, but people can't. Imagine yourself on a Saturday afternoon loading up your car, prepping to get your kids in. Then suddenly you hear a loud crashing and see a truck barreling through mailboxes and signs right towards you. That's the situation Shanika Cannon was in, freshly on maternity leave with a newborn baby in the house. She was outside getting the car ready so they can come to my house. She said... She just heard a lot of bump and boom, 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 bump, bump, bump. Sharia Woods, Cannon's sister, said she had to jump out of the way to dodge an incoming truck before it crashed into her home. She saw the truck was on fire and the man was on top of the roof. Woods says her sister's motherly instincts quickly kicked in. She immediately ran in the house, grabbed her baby from under the debris. He got glass all over him, wood, whatever, drywall. Blessed with luck, both Cannon's newborn and nine-year-old son came out of the crash unharmed. He didn't have a scratch. He was covered in debris without a scratch. That truck now lodged into the house on fire, causing significant damage to the home of a mother currently not working, trying to nurse her one-month-old baby. Cannon is trying to pick up the pieces while facing the challenges of not having homeowner's insurance, being on unpaid maternity leave, and figuring out how she would get her home repaired to keep a roof over the heads of her children. That's why Woods has created a GoFundMe for her sister to help with impending repair bills and let her sister know she's not alone. She don't know where to start, so there's two bedrooms that were destroyed, and then they're, they're thinking that the roof could cave in. Mm -hmm. So GoFundMe is just to get us started. Factors of the crash are still unknown by Saginaw Police, and it's being investigated. Police are asking the public to share any information relating to the crash. Trey Harris, back to you. All right, Trey, thank you. The driver of the vehicle remains in critical condition. No one else would hurt. If you would like to support the family, you can make a donation to the family's GoFundMe. It's in the Monday hotlink section of WNEM.com.